Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I wanted to do another video with the current iOS on how to block ads in iOS. I've done this for the last few. I've pretty much been using the same app. Um, it, it changes as iOS changes, but the, it's called Ad Block. So if you go to in here, just type in it. It's not the same Ad Block that uh, you would use on Chrome as an extension or the desktop. This is a different one. Let me go ahead, and I will just first off say that uh, this app is paid, as you can see on, I have it installed on my account, but you can see it's a $1.99, which to me is a pretty good price, but just to let you know if you don't like paying for apps, this might not be for you. And also a lot of people ask if it blocks YouTube ads. As far as I've ever known, it does not block desk or um, mobile browser or mobile app. Uh, YouTube ads. I think it would block the apps in the uh, browser, but I don't. I use YouTube through the app. That's another story. Usually, I don't get YouTube ads showing up in the app most of the time, anyway, for whatever reason. And this works on iOS 11, obviously. Um, I have it on my phone on iOS 10. It does work on that. This app was changed around. They changed it from. Uh, I guess you weren't allowed to use uh, VPN anymore, and now they have it configured through DNS. So it was good on their part that instead of um, making people buy a new app, they just updated this one. So it's changed, so there's some bad reviews that say, well, it doesn't work. But as of now, the, the method they're using does work. It uses DNS. Uh, that's telling you how to use it with Safari, but I don't use it for that. And. Again, this is just if you want to use somehow, I guess there's a native Safari support or something. I don't use that. Um, I just leave everything at the default settings. So right now it's uh, syncing, setting up, it takes a, it, this is only the first time once you have it all installed and the next time you open it it'll just sync real quick maybe a few domains or something but I, d I do find that it works pretty good because when the there was like a space there where this app was broken because I said they had to change so they couldn't use that method and I went probably a month or so without any ad blocker and it, you know you don't realize how many ads it blocks until you're stuck without it because there was just pop-ups everywhere especially in text like web pages when you get those big ads it's, it's just you can really see the difference you just hit that button now it says it's going to use a local DNS so you're going to continue and then just how it shows up through iOS if I can get that to, you'll just go to allow and it is enabled and you can see, unlike past versions, this actually has this little VPN icon. But whenever the uh, prior version that actually used a VPN, that never showed up. So I'm not sure why that is. But maybe it's just on Apple's part they wanted you to know if anything's messing with your VPN. Which to me is absolutely fine. So there's also a widget. And then I leave that at the bottom just if I'd want to turn it on and off really quick. So if I go in browser, open up uh, eBay, Amazon, there shouldn't be any. Well, this is like an eBay ad, this isn't really intrusive, so it allows those. And then I have noticed, I don't know if running it through the DNS slows your internet because I'll get these like circles, so I'm not sure if that's just my internet or using this app slows it down a little bit. Again, this is an Amazon ad, but it's not the uh, intrusive ones that would often show up here. The best place I can show this would be YouTube. So on this other iPad, which 
does not have ad block on it. You can see here on YouTube you get this their banner ad and on this one you don't get it. It's blocked. eBay I think eBay is about identical but I don't think there's too many ads on the home page. Now this one these are all I think most of these are Amazon apps so it usually allows those. Maybe not because there are still is some elements here but it is blocking some of them. Yahoo is always plastered with ads but I don't even use Yahoo fake news anymore so See if that, so it does block certain things, but I am almost positive that it's never blocked YouTube ads, unfortunately. Not that it's the end of the world, because again, for whatever reason, when you use this on, uh, like, see, you get that ad and everything. Let's see if I can find something that would have an ad on it. I would think he would use, hey guys, this but is awesome. as you can tell, no ad shows up. That's just something I think that's always been with the YouTube app. I'm not sure unless he doesn't monetize his videos, but I'm pretty certain he does. So that would be, again, ad block. Search it in the uh, App Store. For $1.99, I do think it's worth it. I have it, again, on iOS 10 on my iPhone, and I have it on iOS 11 on this iPad. And for me, it may not be perfect. It's definitely not as good as the... Uh, version of ad block for uh, desktop and such but it's it, it gets the job done and also if you're interested I have a video in my prior video that uh, is how to keep your device your Apple device on iOS 10 without upgrading to 11 or getting the notification so if you're interested in that feel free to check it out on my channel uh, hopefully this helps you out thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one have a good one